Welcome to cooking cheap, easy, and tasty meals. I'm going to make another recipe with my roll dumplings. This is going to be a meatball soup with roll dumplings. So we'll start off by putting a little oil in. Let it come up to temperature. I made some rolled dumplings and have some meatballs that I've already prepared and frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them, use them as part of this. To start with, we're going to put in our onions. I'm using red, red onions this time, purple onions, red onions, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to cook them for a minute. Looks like I got a little celery in there too, but that's all right. I just rough chopped them. And now I'm going to add my celery and carrots. Let them cook for a minute. I add a little salt and pepper at this point in this one because I know I'm going to want it. And a little pepper. Just give that extra flavor. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder to kick, kick, kick up that the garlicky taste. I just used a regular teaspoon. Close enough. Now I'm going to add a little red wine to help get the fond up from the bottom and add a little extra flavor. Let that cook that down a little bit before I do anything else. Season the vegetables. Make sure we get all the fond off the bottom. Now I'm going to add two cups of better than bouillon, although again, it didn't all mix in. It will as it goes. And then I'm going to add another two cups to clean out my container and make sure I get it all in there. So it's really four cups of beef broth. That's going to mix in quite well. I'm going to raise the temperature to get it up to boiling. We're going to put the noodles in. And while this is coming up to temperature, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste just for flavor. Okay, it's coming to a boil, so we'll go through the same process. Add a few at a time so that they don't stick together. Don't overdo it. And we're going to let these cook for about 20 minutes. And we're going to lower the temperature down to a simmer. It's been almost 20 minutes and you can tell it's cooked down eh, 10 or 15% and it's a lot better, a lot more dense thicker. That's good. I'm going to put the meatballs in, let them cook for another 10 minutes in there. They're frozen, so I could thaw them out, but I think I'm just going to throw them in. That should be enough. That'll add a little flavor and give us the meat that I wanted in this. 
and it's going to cool off the mixture, obviously, since they're frozen. But probably cook it 10 minutes, and that'll, and I can check the temperature on them, but they should be thawed by then. Sticking them in a boiling liquid does wonders. Okay, <clears throat> it's been about a total of about 35 minutes. I added five extra minutes because I checked these. Because they were frozen, they took a little longer to get to 165, which I always feel like you should have things that are frozen up to 165 before you decide that they are ready. I'm not sure that's essential for, for meatballs, but it's kind of something I've always done, so I stick to that. I know for chicken you have to, so I'm, and maybe for beef you don't. But since I wasn't sure, I went on and did it. So we have basically meatball and dumplings. And it looks really good. The interesting thing, it's a lot thicker than the last recipes, probably because I cooked it a little longer, but it is much thicker. Definitely is more of a stew than a soup. I probably could have added some more liquid, but I've been really pleased with the results of the dumplings. They've been delicious. I have, I've determined that you need to cook them a little longer than I originally would have thought to really get the texture right but they varied uh, between the different things I made. But uh, this is gonna be delicious and there's a lot of opportunity to change the flavors. You could add ketchup, you could add barbecue sauce, you could add Worcestershire or soy sauce and really change the flavor to be quite different than just the base recipe. This is our fourth recipe. This is meatballs and rolled egg noodles. It's a very warm and comforting meal I hope you'll try some of the recipes from this series. They were easy to make and really enjoyable meals. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give us a like. Thank you.